Welcome to the Hawkesbury Radio recap of round 20 in the VB New South Wales Cup. The Windsor Wolves defeating the Newtown Jets. Sam, it was a pretty evenly matched first half until a bit of Etu Nabuli brilliance saw Travis Robinson score. Yeah, it was a good try, uh, and Murray. He, he made a mistake there uh, two rucks before that, and then when Windsor got the ball back, it was a beautiful try. It was Blake Austin over the top to uh, Nabuli. He flew down that sideline there. He stepped inside. Travis Robinson does what he always does. Backed up beautifully, and the Windsor Wolves scored a beautiful try under the post. And it was, you know, that you could see the Newtown heads there. They dropped after that. It was just that, you know, the Windsor Wolves, they really got their tails up, and uh, they just kept rolling on. Yeah, and after that, they went into the sheds at half time, 12 6, thanks to Vipuna T. Khalifi crashing over from a, about a foot out. Uh, Nick, the next 20 minutes after half time were pretty good. The, uh, the, the Wolves putting on try after try. Oh, exactly right. That was just. Great stuff by the Windsor Wolves. They came out of the uh, second half like a man possessed. They were how that were that good. Blake Austin led him from the front. A man that was injured for how many weeks? He was out for 14 weeks. Came back to play his brilliant best. And also Luke Cape Lord halfback. He's showing why he should be in the uh, first grade squad. But they were really got the Windsor Wolves. Yes, the uh, Newtown Jets scored those few, uh, two tries late in the second half. Garth Brennan wouldn't be, wouldn't be happy with that. But still, good steady leading into the future for the Windsor Wolves. I think we unearthed a bit of a talent tonight. Kieran Mosley coming off the bench to uh, play a really pivotal role. Oh, yeah. How good was Kieran Mosley? He showed how good of a player he will be in. Look, can't wait to see him uh, develop as a player. Who knows, he might play for the Windsor Wolves leading into the end of the season or next year when uh, Penrith uh, retake the uh, first, uh, first division side. Now, uh, Sam, a player we both like, Bryce Cartwright, really showed some uh, attacking and defensive prowess tonight. Yeah, Bryce Cartwright, he's only 9 years of old, this player, but you know what, he shows so much confidence when he was out there on the football field. He, d he doesn't mind doing the hard stuff, he doesn't mind doing the hard yards down on his own try line, but you know what, he's got a little bit of a flair when he gets down towards the opposition try line. He didn't mind, you know, he, he chanced his arm a little bit and popped a couple of balls up, but he also has got a good kicking game on him, put a nice little grubber in there, and, uh, you know... The Windsor Wolves, they're looking really good for the run into the semis. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Nick. That's all from us here at Windsor Sporting Complex. We'll be back here next week as the Windsor Wolves take on the Newcastle Knights.